the, we talk about the uh, the 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 toys the brings the Raj brings the Rishon bring the Rashi it was very nizza not to give past his wife the keys to the house and uh, the some cloak is lapel shach not a chamachman you're not allowed to pass um, how about uh, how about throwing something in the ear so they say even the machminim there are those that say yes or those that say no. Let the other words, throw the keys in the air and she'll catch it. Uh, some that say yes, some that say no. Um, okay. sh- now, on top of that, so that some other brings um, that uh, even that should be also. Um, and then, the yesh norgim heter luzer krape mailo. To throw up the keys in the ear, and Vamachma was a tovel brocha, and then he says, "Afilo and poyach noitzer afrulis me begoder shilabush b'masurat." Says the Tzaddik, if she has a little bit of feather or dirt on her thing, this is not to blow, not even to blow it off. Mm-hmm. And Avodit the Tzaddik says also, it sounds like more. So then he says, I, I I looked into it a little bit. Because um, I, I was just, I, I always wondered the Shaila, and I didn't get Latachlitsoi, because I'm sure the Achranim Tesfarim will talk about it. Uh, I just didn't get around to. Drawing is like giving by hand? Huh? Drawing is like giving by hand? Huh? Take something and throw. That's the Shaila. Some, some, say, no, some say, say yes, yeah, some say no. If it's up and you fall down. That for sure not. But even up, which Lachari didn't throw it to her, he right. just threw it into the air, and she catch it. Even that. Um, the Tzmachtar says is. Is the Tavala to... Bracha. And then he says, "Lin poyach noitza oyafruris megavedo is also, is also, is glata zoy also." So, question is, I, I, just a shayla like this: if a person say he's in the hallway, right? He's a lizna building, and uh, he came, he come home, and uh, he has a lot of packages in his hand and the keys. He can't open the door. He doesn't want to throw the keys in the floor and then his wife has to bend to the floor to pick it up. Could he go like this? Or a cell phone or keys. Could he go like this on his hand? And then his wife will take it from here. Or you could say, when does a shot to miyad liyad? Or even zirike miyad liyad? So that's also. But this, this is not a shot to miyad liyad. This is not zirike miyad liyad. It's not miyad liyad. It's not miyad liyad. She used it for him. So I'm not sure. I, I think it would probably, at least, it would get in. It's probably maybe in the level of a machmet of bracha that uh, a person throws it in the ear and she catches it. Lachayr is also. So it wasn't direct. He didn't. He didn't throw it to her. So. Um, so I would probably this would be only in a way of a machme tovel of brachim. You don't have to be machme in this, because otherwise it's, sometimes you're in a place you want to you give your wife a cell phone or keys or something very you can't you, you can't put the cell phone anywhere. This is these cell phones today are worth uh, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. Come on, let's slum people but pay for phones more than that, and uh, it's crazy. So. Uh, so you could text someone you cannot give it to <laughs> exactly <laughs> so you're important so not always do you have a table that you could put it down you're sometimes you're in a place where you can't there's no table in the store or with yeah. the key or something and, you and, and this is easy if you can go like this look right it's easy i would say as, as i said i didn't i get a chance in my eye and what, what what this the you know the swarm today say but i would say it's probably in the same level of zirika or klape mailo Mm-hmm. It's not going miyad liyad. It's not Ashi was talking about a shot of smafteches miyad liyad. Later, poiskim that say it's also even a day zrika is zrika miyad liyad. He throws it and she catches it. But uh, this should I the smach tzedek says yafilan and foyach noitzo yafruris mi begadel is asu asur. Because that's different. Because the minchas Yaakov the brings a raya. Does the Gemara has a whole story about a meimer? That someone came and blew a little bit of the uh, dust off his jacket, so and uh, Amema said, "Oh, Tazoi." Amema said, uh, "What are you here for?" He said, "I came for the Torah." He says, "Sorry, sir." 
it just blew a little bit of afrulius off my baggage. I'm also a pasil melachot ladina. So the Menchus Yaakov, you see that there's a certain chiba here, there's something here. So um, that's why you see that this is worse than throwing something to her indirectly. Mm-hmm. Um, so Taketh, maybe blowing something off, she has some dirt on her baggage to blow it off. Takeh, the Menchus Yaakov says it's also, and some Atzadi brings it's also. But to hand something, not directly, or not even by throwing it. She's rather by putting it like this, and you're wearing a baggage. You're wearing a bag. If you're not wearing a bag, it's a shash. Maybe she might touch your skin. You might touch your skin. But um, a bag, I would say, it can't be worse than throwing it up. Klape Maila. The most you could tell me is that it's a machmir tova yalo brocha. A machmir tova yalo brocha. But to say that it's also. I can't see how a person would say it's also. <coughs> um, another interesting Shaila, again, I, I, I have to, when I get a chance, I'll look up to see what the say about this, is Negovase. Another interesting Shaila about Negovase. To prepare Negovase for each other? Yeah. Why not? Because she, she's not allowed to. Um, she is not allowed to. Three things that a woman does for her husband, but that achiba, she's not allowed to do bimei nidusa, which is So the shaila is: Is this considered rechitzas pon of yadav raglo? Is this considered rechitzas pon of yadav raglo? She's not washing him. She's just putting it next to the table. Oh, oh, oh! So you're saying a good point. She's not washing him. She's not washing him. Um, just make, she's just making it comfortable for be him. making it for herself. She's yeah, but usually it. these two, one for you, one for her. Right? Yeah, she, she, she so, Bemis is, is a machloikis about this. There's a machloikis that some tzedek brings. When the Gemara said, Yir chatzpona v'raglo v'raglo, almost everyone agrees it doesn't mean that she's, she's taking uh, shmi, like a baby. It means even even if it's uh, not directly. Um, I feel it without Nagiya. I feel it without Nagiya. But, but what does it mean? It means that she, he puts out his hands and she takes a kegel and she pours the hand, on the, the water in his hand. It's not Nagiya, but it's Indian of Chashiva, Sachiba. As we said, that there's three special things that Isha, 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 so now we may need this, we shouldn't do it. Good. But what if she just takes a kegel of water and puts it on the table. And now he's going to wash himself from that keli. We say, what, is, we say what, what is she allowed to give him? Right. To so, give him to drink. So to she's allowed to give him water. So. However, the Shach brings the name of Rabbeinu Yoin and Shari Tshuva. The Shach brings to Rabbeinu Yoin and Shari Tshuva. That he says, uh, no, no, not allowed to. She can't pop in like a No. Because, by the way, the Shach calls that Rabbeinu Yonah, the Shari Tshuva, he calls it Droshes Hanoshim. That's what he calls it. In Yeshiva says fancy. It's called the uh, Shari Tshuva that Rabbeinu Yonah. The Shach calls it Droshes Hanoshim. And I think because at the end he has a lot of things about Hachokes Nel Chasnid. But anyway, it's just funny. He calls it Droshes Hanoshim. So, um, so he quotes from Droshes Hanoshim, Rabbeinu Yonah, that it's awesome. So Shaila is... About Negovasa. In the day, in those days of Nidas, can a woman bring Negovasa for her husband? So there's Bemis, there's a lot of reasons to be Makel here, Lachoira. There's a lot of reasons to be Makel. Um, first of all, I mean, I mean, just practically, usually he's not in the room. It's the Shalabi phone up. And, uh, okay, if it, then it's for sure Mutta. I mean, there's nothing to talk about. If Shalabi phone up is a Tosa Mitta's Mutta, Shalabi phone up. Why should this be different? Shalai b'fanav is mutter. Why should it be any different than that? Let's say just putting just a plate of food in front of him. What Rabbi Yoyna says that uh, that the, even putting a, a dish in front of him to wash his hands is no, also no, you're like, asking Rabbi no, Yoyna. No, 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 like, like when a woman is a nida, right? She's she's allowed to serve, serve or just put, put his food in front of him. That's not because he got the coast. right? Just like to put the, the so, re, okay, I hear you're asking a good question. The yeah. your question is on a Yoyna. 
you're saying just like she can bring a plate of food why can't she it's, yeah, it's just like mazigas yang and mean, right i hear i hear but yeah. lapol there many yona holds that way but i'm saying nagavasa there's a even a benyona might agree is not an issue but first because because i'll explain why but um say i just want to uh, like on yom kippur right the din is that a person could wash his hands why because it's not considered a chitzah shal a person we do a minute is that we Don't wash our hands in the morning, morning. Yes. Right. okay but well, we do wash right. we wash our hands in the morning and yom kippur so why because it's considered not such a thing of taino because he's just trying to get rid of the the ruach atumma right so here if a woman is going to bring negovasa for her husband it's not it's not a regular chitza it's not a regular chitza she's bringing him water to get rid of the tumma Regular echitza is a, a Indian of Tainug, or even if he's dirty, but the violet is a Tainug. In other words, the the the, the, the that would be also for a woman to do the baila would be the type of echitza that's also to do in Yom Kippur. Okay. And, and Negovasar is the to do in Yom Kippur. Ah, we do it only till here for several reasons. The Rebbe, we spoke about this two years ago, the Rebbe's a modern reason. The Rebbe says, because Antishva of Yom Kippur, opposite reasons. And Yom Kippur, the Kedush of Ayid is so strong that the Tuma is only on the on the, on the, fingers. On the fingers, not on the whole hand. So therefore, why well, you have to wash more? It's not necessary to wash more. Like I have a malach, so yeah. So therefore, you don't have to wash more. But anyway, so uh, so therefore, um, therefore Bachlal, you can't stop. You could say if she brings two two things of Nagavaser, so uh, as a Shaila Yesh Breda Im Breda, who says which one she brought for him? She, there's not such a chiba here. She uh, she brought two negavas or shislach. And if she brings only one and they're sharing it again, where's the chiba? She brought for herself. That's a little bit of leftover water. It's, it's a shine. So what should she do? She shouldn't she shouldn't leave it there. So uh, Mel, I don't think it's a it's a big deal. Be uh, made that she should bring negavas for. Uh, in other words, it wouldn't be, even according to Ben Yoyna. It says that uh, the Isser is not only when she washes his hands, but also brings him a keli. But Nagel Vaser, uh, I, I, I there's no there's no right. It's, it's yeah. And Lil, obviously, if she's bringing it Shalai Befana, it's Mutter anyway. I saw some meters anyway on Mutter Shalai Befana. So then there's nothing to talk about. Okay, there's two little Nakudas to talk about. Okay. Hold on, that's seven. When the baby is crying. And you know, hold it, take, take the baby. She allowed to give it to him? Oh, so the uh, it's brought not. This was the last thing we uh, um, I got it convenient to put it down on the bed and then you pick him up at the bed on the table, etc. There's a cooler here because unless the kid is not very sick or very small, um, but still, um, the Toyota Shlomim, the Menchas Yaakov, uh, others they bring that to Chimbi Machmer. But again, this it's is it's very hard anyway to hand the baby to who without touching her. Right, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, but, but it's an extra, it's an extra Indian. It's an extra Indian. It's 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 more. It's not as as, as strong as a shot to miyad liyad, but still, Tere Shlomim says not to. Tere Shlomim says not. Always put it down and then she yeah, pick him up. Yeah, not to hand the baby miyad liyad. It's very difficult. You have to, you know, we'll get the end of this issue. There is a, the, the Ramo brings from that a person shouldn't be a chosset shoyte. His wife is sick or whatever. We'll get to the issue of being of, of a woman that's sick. But, uh, oh, the, baby. Uh, the same thing here with the baby. I mean, uh, there was a couple of weeks ago, we had a, 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 a couple for the Shabbos. And, uh, you know, like here, a flat push it. <laughs> they knock on the door and they ask permission to drive to park in the driveway. <laughs> Just like that? Yeah. So I didn't know that they're going to. I, whenever I saw a punkt, I, I met someone or something. So uh, it's a mitzvah lady. She does so many mitzvahs. She does in the shelter for women. Okay, I invite for Shabbos. So, uh, so she, she knocks on the door with her husband. Can we, can we park in the drive? In case of course, no. <laughs> And this lady is at um, a, 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 a pisk of shiroiflach. Her mouth didn't, she wouldn't stop talking the whole sudden. 
So one of the things she had a taina, she says, uh, she the, the, I, she knows very little about Yiddishkeit, but she knows what a Malchuva is. And she lives here in Flatbush, and the, she has she owns the house, a two family, three family, and the downstairs neighbor is a Malchuva. She says she once fell down the steps and she started screaming, or whatever his name is. To help her. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and, and he came out and he, he said he can't help her because she's a woman. That's called Chosin Shaykh. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so that's called the Chosin Shoit. I mean, what it says, uh, you know, Isha Tevasa de Tevasa be, 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 be Nor, and he doesn't want to save her. That's a Chosin Shoit. Okay. It's a terrible thing from Hashem also. Right. It's a terrible thing from Hashem also. Exactly. That she even, uh, that it should even be Oila Ladas, that, uh, that he kilo a person, that's a Shaila. So uh, yeah, a person has to know all these harchokes, and we'll get to soon. That if a person, if a person, uh, uh, if a woman is of a sakona, have to go to a hospital or, or a doctor, or a chulo, then for shteitzach, a person has to not think about uh, all the protem and harchokes at that moment. Okay, Zion, page Zion, and Oy Zion here. Asur malachem akorachas is not allowed to eat from one plate. Isakit echad in one bag. Even though if one person will take a piece and the other one, it's not going to help. If one person will take a piece and the other one, it's not going to help. If one person will take a piece and the other one, it's not going But if it's a big serving plate and everyone takes off the serving plate and puts it on his plate, that's mutter. Like sushi. Shach and Taz, both say that there was used to be a minik shtus that people thought that if they cut it to small pieces and they have a plate on the table for the whole family that the husband and wife are allowed to eat and they say no it's also and then they made a big chedem for the kehilas and uh, it's also but if there's a serving plate everyone puts on their own plate then it's muter then it's muter lo yoich lima al shulchan echad shouldn't eat on the same table and paint all yeah so a bene is a heck of a problem you have to put it on your plate yeah there's no shot you can't take it off no 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 that's no no that's mamish the shach and taz both say that's a minute shtus that people think it's mutter and no you have to put it on your plate it's like a headache you'd like to go like this especially it's popcorn and chips yeah popcorn and chips all these things you want to pick it up put it in your mouth no no, that yeah. in plate. Yeah. Okay, but well that's. Uh, oh, that's the achoka. That's the achoka. Yeah. Ain lecha achoka gedoy lemizu. It's because it's a headache. So you remember. Lo yoich lemal hashul chanam kinyasa v'neim as a heka. Shouldn't you eat in the same table unless it's a heka. Most of the shayim hold that the kayotza boy. The Mishnah says lo yoich lazovim azovim the hergla veda means not only the same plate, not only eat in the same table. Agam, the Rosh holds that only in those days with small tables, but as long as that doesn't apply, but most of the Shainim hold, no, they're not Mechalak, and even the Rosh himself says that you should be Nizid even these days and not to eat on the same table unless they make a Heker. Just like two people, one is eating milk and one is eating flesh, you have to make a Heker between them, same thing here, you have to make a Heker. What should you do? You can put some food, a, a loaf of bread that they're not eating from, or you nicham and emes a dove a gavoyer kitzas shein da'akelis al hashulchan mei tarasa from bakbok a koyse shtiya kiyetz v'zafim mishdamish me'achshem choshem heker something that's usually not on the table and it's large and it's noticeable not just that you uh, uh, that you put uh, your the, you know the cork that opens up the bottle of wine or you something. mean like a mechitza uh, something big not a mechitza not as big as a mechitza but something sizable something big. Uh, the tablet, he puts his tablet on the table. It's not usually people don't put a tablet on the table. Uh, maybe even a cell phone. I, I don't know if uh, a cell phone would go into this gather. Something like uh, lo- noticeable, large. Unusual. It's not unusual to be on the table, even though they're using it. As, but usually it's not on the table. Either each, or each one has their own little cloth. Obviously, it has to be something that they don't usually do. 
it's a house that it's fancy and they always put these placement mats and that, 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 that's not a, a simon, that's not a heker. Shikr makayma, miyuchil la shulchan noigim shein, is a heker, a minig is not to use that as a heker for us to sit in a different place. My chasur rabbi said it's his guest there, you know. Huh? My chasur rabbi said it's his guest there, you don't have to remind him of this, you know. I don't know. I still have to be my eye into this. Uh, I haven't seen a mocker, a good mocker for this. That, uh, was he embarrassed? Huh? Huh? Oh, embarrass no, no, no. huh? Who? The guests don't notice. The guests don't notice. Oh. If you make a hacker that... Because uh, a lot of Dafka, the guests will notice. Or, or, but then I call they won't notice. Because there's so much happening. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, but if you do something like... I if you make a is, huge hacker, but know, people the opposite. Not only that they but people hockey. usually are not eating with you six days or seven days a week. Right. So they don't know that this thing that you put now is uh, is unusual. They're not gonna notice this or notice other things. Right. Hello <laughs> beam. <laughs> okay. So he's not allowed to eat the her shiraim. She's allowed to eat his shiraim. He's not allowed to eat her shirayim. What are the conditions where he's allowed to? Shalsa adam acha b'nei mutalishtus shirayim. If someone drank in between, one of the children or whatever, someone else drank in between. Huda kam ashkem a koyz alakoyz acher. If the liquid was put from one koyz to another koyz, I feel the whole sir lakoyz edition even though it was put back to the first koyz. It's muted. Yotza ma'cheder. If she walked out of the room, yeshem shumutalishtus shirayim. And those that say it's muted. Um, then the Ramah says, Einu yoydeh she If she doesn't know that he, that, uh, he doesn't know she drank from this cup. Einu tzrichel ha-hagidlo, she doesn't have to tell him, Shlo Yishna. Shosas kol ha-kos, she drank the whole kos, v'chos v'romalu, and they filled it up again, muta av b'shel ad-chu, even though they didn't wash it. V'chol ha-fan ha-hetta she ba-kos, muta gama ma-ichel, the same thing with food. In other words, if she has food in the plate, he's not allowed to eat her shirayim. She's allowed to eat his shirayim. Mm. But whatever, if, if for example, if you t- she has extras in her plate and she doesn't want to finish it, he could pick it off his, her plate and put it on his plate and then it's good. Uh, just like with liquid, that once it's hurak mikli akli. That's what the Rishayim say. When it say, it means he's not allowed to have the leftovers from her cup or leftover foods from her plate. But if he's going to take it out of her cup or out of her plate, then it's not a problem. So uh, she, she can't take from her plate and give to him. She could. She, she can. She could. She mm-hmm. could. She could. But she, he can't eat it off her plate. Right. Oh, right. Even if she stopped eating, he can't take her plate, and, and, so and, she, and she says, "I'm not eating anymore from this plate. Mm-hmm. I'm not eating anymore. Whatever. Right. So he can't take that plate over and eat it from that actual plate. Same thing with drink. Whatever. Even if it's water, she drank a little bit out of the cup. He's not allowed to bend over and take this cup now and drink from it. Unless one of these things that we said, it unless he, he, he put it in his cup or someone had it in between. However, she's allowed to eat from his shirayim. This is not a problem. Okay, now we're going to talk about the three things. Again, we said before that the Gemara says that there's three things that a woman does for her husband. We spoke about it in the introduction. Like Amara says, even a man that has a lot of money, he's mechuyiv to have four servants for his wife to help her in the house. Four servants. Can you imagine? But However, not, but not four wives. No. You'd have uh, four it's wives, the, exactly. <laughs> Unless your name is Yaakov. <laughs> but, uh, but, 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 but four servants. However, Chazal said that the Jewish woman should know three things she should never give up. She should always do for her husband to create chiba, which is the poor mezigas hakois, and also to do the bedding, and also to mezigas hakois at soas hamito, and rechitzes ponu yada veraglo. These three things to wash his hands. Um, there is a discussion in the Rishonim that Ashba says Mazigas Akois means only wine. When I gave the introduction to the Shia, someone, Mashi uh, Raichik, I said, oh, it's only wine. And the Shukhanara doesn't go into it, doesn't, doesn't discuss it. Uh, but the Beis Yosef brings from the Rajba that it's only wine. 
but he brings from other Rishonim that it's a, a Shaila, maybe not so clear. Lamaisa, the Tzemach Tzedek holds that it applies he's, to every chosh of a drink. To every chosh of a drink. Um, Tzemach Tzedek says, so according, according to the Tzemach Tzedek, regular water, not, not chosh. Oh, yeah, water is Neshtav Sered. Water is, is, is out. Water is garnished. Which is not used to say people with three pours of water after they the wine. Then it works. Uh, according to these uh, Shainim, it's only it's only wine. It's only wine. It's Machzadik who says um Asura Limzerloi Dainab Fon of Koi's Bain Shalyaim Bain Shashar Mashkim Haka Shuvim Kutzmimay. So the question is that the Tzemachadik mean that only water is mutter? Because all other drinks are choshev, or the tzemach tzedek meant that all mashke that are choshev, but mayim is obviously not choshev. So the every, mashke, is, every mashke is lakma, lakma. Yes, I'm not sure. Obviously, mayim is not an issue. She's allowed to pour for him water. She's allowed to bring him a cup of water. But the tzemach tzedek holds that the, that, but not only wine. You know, any choshev a drink. So what does it mean a choshev a drink? Is a chosh of a drink mean like something that I could use Matzah Shabbos to make Abdullah on? Uh, you, coffee, you, 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 coffee and, and what's it called? And then what's if uh, it's a cup of apple juice? So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, let's read it. Loitim zekeishik labay lakois shel mashkim. A woman is not allowed to pour for her husband a kois of a drink. Chutz mimayin. Kesha kois emir lefonav. Obviously, whoever wrote this book thought that uh, that the pshat and the tzemach tzedek was um, every any any liquid is also besides water. But I'm not sure. I'm not convinced. I don't know. Yesh oisrim shetaniach hakois atzlach esem amaychal afonav avol moisa sholakedarka. She can't put a kois or a plate with food in front of his nose. Avol moisa sholakedarka. But if she's going to do it, she'll like it. I can go and she'll tell you, and she'll be at small, she'll tell you, 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 she'll do it a little bit with a, shinui. with a shinui. If he'll do it a little bit with a shinui, that with her left hand. It, she wouldn't put it in front of her, she'll put it next to yeah. him, and then he'll put it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a plate for her special for him. If it's a serving dish, and she brings it to the table, but she puts it naturally in front of her husband first, as COVID, right? That's not an issue. The only problem is if she brings him a kois of a chosh of a drink or a plate of food and puts it in front of his nose. Okay. That her husband's not allowed to do it. When he said he's not allowed to talking about wine. No. Anything, even water. Lloyd, I feel a shloch like a shol yain. I feel like a shol brocha. I shall show him a shol chutz and maim also. I will show him a shol chutz and maim. I will show him a shol chutz and maim. He's not allowed to even. Right. So, Shabbos Kiddush, if all the kids, ki- ki- all the Nebais are going to drink from that kois, so then she, it's ready, but she can't drink first after him. She has to. Or. Or, or, I would say, if uh, when a person puts a lot of choices, uh, he's not putting for her. You're not going to say, Yej Breda, like, you know, say a whole pupil. He pours a little kalachkas with uh, six kalachkas, 12 kalachkas, 16 kalachkas. He didn't pour for her. He didn't pour for her. If he's passing around his own kois to his family, then Taka, she can't drink first. That would be something that the kids would notice, unless he always does it that way. But if usually mommy gets first, that's and then uh, Ms. Man, Ms. Man, she gets second. So uh, it could be Nikir. Could he push the cup to the center of the table and she'll take it? Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, 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 you could do that. You know? What he just said, like next voice here. You can do that too. You can leave the kois on the shulchan and she'll take it. Another eitzah. Very good. Okay. Continue. She can't sleep with him in the same bed. 
I feel Kolach of Begodim, even though both are wearing their full Begodim. They know Gimzub is not touching each other. I feel I'm sure I'm staying with this. But Nick is no ego is a bazoo. Is it the mattress or the actual beds? Or is it the sensation of the movement? So I was looking today at one of the kids' for him. They bring the Wazasifus at Abonim in Lavov. It's the. It's called a Molemberg. It's called Tere Lavov. Uh, and they uh, came up that there has to be at least one full foot between two two beds. Nineteen uh, in nineteen twenty seven. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. The part I said the other day. One foot that's twelve inches. Yeah, a minimum of twelve inches in between. Okay, well, those like um, they shouldn't come to any Nagia. Here he brings the footnote, a beautiful thing that Kachuva brings. That the pillows and blankets are not going to end up touching each other. If there's 12 inches in between, obviously they're not going to touch each other. <clears throat> if the room is small. Oh, so okay. I did. Uh, what do you do? You do as much as as, as 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 good as you could. <laughs> and the ikir is it shouldn't be one bed. The Israelis invented a pretend that the bed slide out like on a like on a like on a track. Uh-huh. So it's the same like headboard, but I don't know. It's like in the uh, okay. Bed, right. right. The hotels in Israel also have this uh, yeah. trick. Uh, you come into the room and there's one bed. So that's a choshech and the egen. So you call the room service, they come up and they, they move the two beds and uh, uh, it's all solved. Um, we learned, when we did the introduction to the shir, we learned an interesting Toysfus. Toysfus says that uh, when the, this woman who complained that her husband died by so uh, Leo said uh, what was going on in the in the seven days that uh, of, 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 of 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 counting? So she said we slept the same bed, no problem. But uh, but uh, I was wearing my clothing, he was wearing his clothing. That's what the Gemara says. So he said, oh, that's why he was. That's why he died. Pesus asks from Palti ben Laish the story of Palti ben Laish that uh, he put a sword between him and his wife. So and he said uh, that we're not going to cross the sword because. Pashtus, his father-in-law, Shaul, wanted him to live with his daughter. But he was choshish to David the Melech, because David the Melech was Mekadashur. I understand what happened. What happened, in short, was that uh, David the Melech, David the Melech won the, over the Plishti, right? He yeah. killed he killed Goliath. Right. And the king had said that he's going to make the person that kills Goliath, he'll make him very rich and give him his daughter. At the end, he got uh, when there was the, when they when there was a parade of victory, and the woman was saying, "Hika, dov a shol balof of vedovet berivevoisov." They complimented that shol was able to hit thousands of the enemies, and dov the malach tens of thousands, and like poison went into his heart. He said, "Ah, ah, ah. Only thing that he's missing is the kingdom right now." Mm. So and from then on, he all, all he wanted to do was to kill David. So, uh, so he decided that uh, he's going to try to get David killed. Uh, he said to David, you know, you have to marry my daughter. I said, you can marry my daughter. I want you to bring uh, a sack of a hundred orlas of the plishtim. He figured by the time he'll, he'll get, get through uh, a couple of them, he'll get killed. So, uh, so I mean, uh, no plishti will give away his orla. He's got to kill the plishti, right? And then he has to cut off the orla too. So, uh, mm-hmm. in the meantime, he'll get killed. Dov the Melch came back with a stack of 200 instead of 100. So, the Gemara says that Chol held that this was not a Kiddushin. Because it was no Sheva Pruta, it's not worth a nickel or a dime. And the Dov the Melch held that it was worth a Sheva Pruta. Dov the Melch said, to go to Petco. Try to buy for your pet uh, a, ba- a bag of food. <laughs> this at least worth a dollar ninety nine. It's worth something, right? So that was so. David the Melech held it was a good kedushin. 
Now, when he ran away from the house in the middle of the night, because he was, the show was going to kill him, and she tricked her father and she, uh, with a delay tactic, and as if say, David was still in the bed, by the time they discovered in the morning, David ran away. So Shaul was upset, and he said, hey, anyway, she's not married to David. He wasn't. So he, he said, okay, my daughter is now going to be married to Palti Malayish. But Palti Malayish uh, was a Yiddish Shemaim, and he put a sword in the middle of the bed, and he said, we're not going to cross the sword. So Toysva says, so you see, you can sleep in the same, what's the difference to Aisha's Isha or Aisha, Aisha Nida? You can see you can sleep in the same bed as long as, uh, I see what I'm yeah, so it's interesting to note that Toysva doesn't at any point say, oh, but there's a sword in between. If you put a sword, it's, uh, I guess Toysva thought that the sword was like an exaggeration, you know, the sword wasn't the point. But Toysva says, because it was a very big bed. It was a very, there is tack, and the Beis Yosef brings a few shittas that hold that if both are fully dressed and it's a very big bed, then it's mut. How big is big? I don't know. But Lopoil Shachnara Paskins, it's also. It doesn't matter how big the bed is. It doesn't matter how big the bed is, that it's also. Elamai, the Acharanim say that even if it's two beds, if from the Gemara it's mashma, as long as it's two beds, that's fine. Doesn't there's no shear, even if the two beds are touching each other. But uh, but 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 uh, Poiskim later Poiskim say like he said that is all that there should be a half second the bed like Shmulek said in the introduction to the shear. I said that Rabbi Heller has this beautiful word. He said that it says the ish v'isha that there's there's a yud and a hay in the shechina shroy benayim. So he said that you have to separate between the beds enough space to allow the shechina to come wow. become between the husband and the wife. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he shouldn't sit in her bed ever, even if she's not in the room. Why? Because the fact that he sleeps or even sits on her bed already brings thoughts in his mind. She's allowed to sit in his bed. However, she's not allowed to lay down on his bed in front of him because then he's going to start having thoughts in his mind. Asurim l'shavis yachel al safsel misnadnei. They're not allowed to sit together on a bench that's wobbly, that could move. That that his his sitting down will move her, or the other way around. I feel orich v'enogin zubazei. Even though it's a long bench and they're not touching each other, I'm lima safsel mochol balakir. If the bench is fixed into the wall, chen safsel l'makir is kvei de v'nochem aritz takir de kevaton. Or very heavy benches or very heavy sofas that it, it just because shake. one person sits down on one side, the other person doesn't doesn't go bouncing. Because it's very heavy, it's very sturdy. It's mutt. Those that say as long as someone sitting in between them, it's mutt. In the old cars, the Buick, the automobile, like two years ago. Used to be the front chairs, like a long chair. Yeah, like a bench. It's a problem. And the shift, like the the shift was in this in front, right. yeah. 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 If they're they're just going out for for a spin in the car or for pleasure, not allowed to. It's mashma. It's mashma that that's also, even if they're not sitting on the same bench, it's just that. The etzim minion that they're hanging out together, that uh, it's uh, okay. On the, on the park bench, taking the stroll and sitting on the bench, uh, how does that work out? No, that's different. That's different. We're talking about the uh, uh, the 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 Rebbe Nye, the to talks about agol and asvina. I'm not talking about a park bench. No, but, but but if, if people know. They're married, they're not sitting, one sitting on this side, then it's already nicker. I mean, so, the nicker, they're from a Yidin, so it's nicker. So, they shouldn't sit next to each other, even on a public Yeah, place. yeah, what's the big deal? So, it's nicker, so what's the big deal? Mm -hmm. The, the, the half sick doesn't have to be so big. Put a lunch bag in between. But anyway, the, usually park benches are sturdy. It's like Kavua Bakoisel there because they're drilled into them, they're very sturdy. So, how, how is that? Um, 
That's not an issue. How does that make them? Because they're not sharing. Because they're never. Because they're not. He's not moving her. She's not moving him. And as long as they're not touching each other, it's good. So usually a park bench are 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 covered. It's any mis not made anyways. It's a non issue. Lo yisel atil yachiv mechernes and besvinah shouldn't go together for a, a pleasure. If they have a need, they're allowed to go. But they have to sit in a way that's muted. Either the seat is very sturdy, so therefore they're not going to end up uh, touching each other, or someone's uh, sitting in between them. What do you do if you have to fly together and she is an either? So it's a problem. It's a problem. Um, wants to go by the window, wants to go die. Nah, how can you do that? First of all, you, that's you a problem. Go, you're going to touch, but you're going to touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a difficult uh, thing. It's a difficult thing, Taka. That's why, uh, but what can you do today? You know, it's not like you decide on a dime. You, when you get a good deal for a ticket, you don't know exactly what's going to be. It's a, it's not like we live from day to day. You, you go out to the streets in the marketplace and the, get the guy with the horse and the buggy, and you book a ticket uh, in advance. And we get a gay base. What's going to be? Um, well, look. There's the. What could you do? There is usually a hand rest. So you could leave the hand rest down. Sometimes you have a couple magazines, so you could put them. You could put them in between. If you have a, a book or a magazine. So you could put that as well, you know, you could put that like this between you. It's not naked to anyone because you're, but, you're a bunch of magazines. It's, uh, it's a bunch of magazines. You have books, magazines. So if it's naked to anyone while you're doing it, mm-hmm. but between the both, you, you, Lapoil, you have a book between you. So you're not going to be knowing it. Is that bizarre? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's leave it here. So we're holding Chof. So, Mitzvah Shem, uh, next time we'll finish it. We'll start the next thing.